It's time for love readings. You're going to get the most out of this love reading if you watch it for your moon sign. This video right here, if you haven't seen it, will tell you why. There's a link in the description box below so you can go right to that to find out why. Um, but regardless of whether you're watching this for your moon sign, which you should be, um, or, or not, whatever, um, I just wanna tell you what we are covering today. What do you need to let go of? Um, what what are you attracting this month in regards to love? What's out of your control? And then what act, what do you need to take action on? We're going to look at singles, couples, and then it's complicated situations. So that could be polyamorous. Maybe um, you're talking to each other, but it's not Facebook official yet. On again, off again, whatever that is. I'm going to do singles first, then couples, and then it's complicated last. The reason being because sometimes when it's complicated, pieces of the single reading and the couple's reading will resonate hard for you and you might wanna go and watch those pieces as well, okay? Um, I think I already said, but this reading is from now until June 15th. Um, and the reason why I go half month to half month is because I put out the general readings at the beginning of every month and then money readings um, also right after that. So let's get started. Oh, I'm using the Gilded Tarot deck today. If you're wondering what that's about, there's a link in the description box below if you wanna purchase one. I don't sell them, but um, if you get it through the affiliate link, I might get like two or three cents from that and it doesn't cost you anything extra. So you're just helping a sister out to keep making these videos. Virgo singles. What do you need to let go of? Um, what is it that you're trying to manifest? It's like you're trying to manifest stuff really hard, you know, like a long-term relationship, like a secure, stable marriage, something predictable that you can rely upon. Um, why is it that you need to let go of that though? And they're just like, you know, the, when you keep asking and keep asking and keep asking the universe for something, it almost creates a resistance energy because stress um, and not receiving it immediately is applied and then stress pushes that away. It's almost a resistance energy. So it's like you ask for what you want once and then you just kind of let go and let the universe do its work, but you have to trust that it will, not obsess over it, okay? So what is it that you're attracting right now? And they're saying you already know because you've been fucking asking for it every five minutes. <laughs> okay, um, what's outside of your control? And they're saying, you know, you're going to get this long-term um, stable, happy marriage type of relationship that's super reliable, that you grow old and retire together. Like, you know, what's destiny is destiny. It's going to come to you, but it's going to come to you in the time that it comes to you, you know, for whatever. What you're manifesting, you are going to get it, okay? But you need to loosen the reins on um, trying to control the timing in which that happens because it's not really up to you, unfortunately. So what is the action that you need to take? And they're like, you know, if you haven't manifested what you want, if you haven't asked the universe for it, do it once, set it and go, <laughs> you know, leave it and let the universe do its thing. Because it looks like all of these things that you want, you're going to get them. You're going to have them. But, you know, you don't get to control when. So for those of you that are in relationships, what do you need to let go of? And they're like these ideas that something new has to happen in regards to routine, career or money. What are you attracting right now? And they're like a really slow pace in getting what it is that you want. So what's outside of your control? That same thing where it's like, oh, there's this thing that I maybe want to talk about in regards to our routines, like our plans, um, our money, where are we going to live? You know, what kind of jobs are we going to take? That kind of a thing. They're like, it's outside of your control. So quit trying to control it. What is it that you need to take action on? And they're just saying, you know, some of you have put the past behind you, you know, all of your fears and things, whether related to this relationships or other ones. But, you know, the thing is, is there's still a couple things there that you haven't and it has to do with the timing of things and, you know, controlling our environment and that maybe they move slower than we want. So perhaps you had a plan to move in together and your partner is like, ah, not yet, because I don't know about my financial situation with coronavirus and blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, maybe don't push, maybe don't try to find solutions because things are gonna happen in the timing that they happen and it doesn't matter how much plotting or planning you do, it's outside of your control. So you've just gotta learn how to be patient, okay? So for those of you in complicated situations, what do you need to let go of? And they're saying, you know, this idea that 
if somehow I manipulate things, if I try to control them, that they'll go a little bit faster. Very similar to coupled Virgos. And they're saying that's not the case. You got to let go of that idea. What are you attracting right now? Well, everything that you truly want, everything that's really deeply important, deep inside of your heart. So what's outside of your control? Um, you know, really right now, it doesn't seem like any challenges are coming. And that's not because you manifested like an easy life uh, without challenges or anything like that. It's just, you know, that's outside of your control for your benefit. It's actually really wonderful that maybe right now there's not um, struggle, even though you might feel like there's not much to invest in. It's still like emotionally or with your energy your time, but it's still really nice that ease is here. Uh, so what do you need to take action on? And they're just saying, you can't control everything. Um, try to include other people, allow them to help you because this is where you find the most comfort and joy and stability and um, seeing how that sits with you. You know, do I really like things as they are? So that's fantastic.